And you know what that means. That's right, it's time for yet another edition of Sip and Snack. And if the schedule follows the way I think it will, which I'm trying to make sure it does, we've done all the energy drinks. We'll probably have more in the future. I guarantee you we will. It's time to go into soda. Um, so let's start with one that started back at the beginning of February with a contest, an instant win contest on the Dr. Pepper Perks website. Now, I've been trying to become a member of the Dr. Pepper Pack for a while now, and apparently I have been told that the Pepper Pack is going to open up for new members. Me and Troy, 100% gonna be in that group. But that being said, there's a lot of Dr. Peppers that have come out in the past, and this was one you could win. Obviously, I didn't win. But luckily, it was so popular that Dr. Pepper was like, okay, fine, we'll release it. Not only will we release it, we're going to make it not a limited edition flavor, but a regular flavor moving forward. It's interesting. Let's tell the bottlers around here because it's almost nearly impossible to find. Case in point, this video. Because Troy, the resident Dr. Pepper aficionado found this at a grocery store in California and shipped it to me in a care package. <clears throat> a couple weeks later, I finally found it. Found it in a Publix and there was literally two 12 packs left. This is in regular and zero sugar variants. I don't have the regular one, couldn't find it. But now that I know that it's permanent, and it'll probably come up here at some point, but I found the zero sugar variant because of Troy, and now I can find it in stores here in Orlando. Yes, I give you Dr. Pepper, strawberries and cream, zero sugar. So this can, I like it, it's very nice. Very toyetic, to say the least. No calories, no fat, 60 milligrams of sodium, zero carbs, sugars, or added sugars, or protein. So there's a whole lot of zero in here because it's a zero sugar brand. So would you try it? I've been wanting to try this for a while now. I've been sitting in my fridge waiting for this uh, sip and snack filming day because full disclosure, it's February 25th right now and I'm filming this for God knows when this video is coming out. So that's your answer. So we're going to pour it into the glass. Oh, it's nice to see that familiar Dr. Pepper look. Love that. It's got that strawberry smell. Now, I love strawberry Dr. Pepper. And we've talked about this, the creamsicle thing I have a problem with. Like, I love orange. Orange is great in almost everything, but it mixes with vanilla. Normally, it's a turn off when it comes to the flavor. I'm curious what this is going to taste like because I love strawberry Dr. Pepper. And I love strawberry Mr. Pibb, I know, different brands, but still, I love the Dr. Pepper style with strawberry. I think it's a good mixture. However, the cream might be a problem. So we're gonna see if there's enough cream to pacify everyone else, but also not as much to pacify me. So we're gonna find out. The strawberry, oh, oh, that kicks. The strawberries and cream is kind of your aftertaste, at least when you drink it out of a, a glass. Let me see what happens when you drink it out of a can. No. No, the cream ruins it. I'm not a fan. <laughs> There's your thumbnail. Well, you watch. Yeah, I'm not going to return to this. I don't like this. This isn't good. Mmm. It's kind of bitter. That strawberries and cream, like aftertaste, I don't like it. Tastes like, you know those, like, cream savers? That's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like someone dropped a cream saver into a Diet Dr. Pepper. 
and I'm not a fan. Strawberry Dr. Pepper is good. Strawberries and cream, not so much. Sad, because I thought I was going to like this. If you have any ideas for sip and snack or versus any other regular segments of the network, feel free to shoot me an email, sir, and Disney at gmail.com. Feel free to pick it up if you find it in stores. If it's your, your bag, it's just not mine. In the meantime, I want to thank you guys and girls out there for watching. Until tomorrow, boys and girls, that's all I got to say about that.